Hello, friends. <clears throat> Happy Thursday. I really haven't disappeared. It's been a minute since I've been on here, it seems like, but um, we were gone uh, last week, so that's why I was missing in action. But thank you for coming back to my channel. And if you are new, if you are new here, welcome. I hope that you will subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Jana, and I am an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator and an avid stamper. <clears throat> so this is my avid passion and hobby, and with a little business on the side. So this is my current host code for Stampin' Up! If you shop with me, um, just know that when you do shop with me and spend $50 before taxes and shipping um, in a month, then I will send you a little thank you gift the following month for um, because of my appreciation of you shopping with me, okay? So you'll find this host code in the description box below as well and on the landing page when you go to shop with me at my website. <clears throat> okay, so I have a new to me set from the annual catalog and it's the Seaside Bay stamp set which is a cling mount there's a couple missing because i have them loaded on blocks already but it's just this really fun um set and i live um at the ocean so all of these things are nice for me to have because i can make cards you know to come from here where i live this is a little sandpiper bird if you're wondering and these little guys as well and of course lots of crabbing happens here we do have a a working bayfront where i live so there's big um fish plants down there and where they bring there's a lot of um our boats locally here that go out crabbing and um, bring lots of crab in right now. It's tuna season. I wish I was a canner because there's, oh wow, if you've never had um, fresh canned tuna, like where you can it in the jars, oh my gosh, it's the best tuna ever. Um, and we've had people can it for us. I just, I'm just not a canner. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's the best tuna ever. So anyway, using that set and the um, dies, the dies are fabulous. So the open dies here cut out images from the stamp set and the closed dies are like extra things to play with as well. So um, I always love the extra things and this is a super cute um, shell die here. All right, I'm also using for papers, I'm using the Hello Irresistible. So I'm doing a really kind of um, pastel themed card today. Let me get my goodies here, all my little parts and pieces. So the card base, I'm doing a book fold card. So I've got four and a quarter by 11 inches. Let me bring my trimmer over so I can score it here. Ooh, I also got my, um, my order. I didn't order a whole lot, but I did order a few things from, um, as demonstrators, we could order out of the new upcoming mini catalog for the holidays. So I'll show you what I got when we are done with this card. Okay, I'm going to score it at five and a half. And then I'm going to take that out and fold it because I always get a little bit of an overhang. Can you see that there? So I like to make sure where the front of my card is because I always put the longest um, side on the front. Okay, so I scored it five and a half, and then I'm going to score it in on the front side again, one and a quarter inches from that score line. So let me just, 
Let's see, I need to do it this way, don't I? So I need to move that over to one and a quarter inches. So I can tell you that is at four and a quarter. Yeah, about four and a quarter. So at five and a half and right about four and a quarter is where you're gonna make your two score lines for the front of your card. And then I kind of like to fold this back and give it a little burnish that way and then fold it over and do the same. Even though we're gonna be glu gluing that section down, it just makes this flap a little easier to go back and forth. Oh, let me get this on my iPad so I can see if anybody is commenting or chatting. There it is. Hi, Marianne, thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Okay, so what else have we got in here? Lots of parts and pieces. So as you can see, like I said, I'm doing pastel colors. So I've got some sea foam green. I've got crumb cake. Here's my patterned paper I'm using couple pieces of that and I think I will start with this one so this is cut at four and a quarter by I think I did one and a quarter because I'm just filling in yeah one and a quarter I'm covering up the whole spine part if you will of this card here but before I glue it down I've cut myself a length of ribbon now forgive me for using ribbon that is retired but in the catalog currently you can get this um, a pretty ribbon like this in vanilla with gold edges I just happen to have this in my stash and it matched perfectly so I'm using it and you may have it in your stash as well I don't know but you know, I can't just let stuff sit there. I gotta use it. That's why we buy it, right? <clears throat> okay, so I'm just, I cut more than I needed, obviously. Oopsie. So I'm just trying to center it there in that little strip. If I can get it to quit sticking to my fingers. So I guess there's a water rescue going on right here south of our town. Don't like to hear about that. I hope that they get everybody or whoever's in the water, I hope they get them out safely and okay. People just don't realize how big that ocean is, I guess, and how it can sneak up on you. And then, speaking of sneak, there are such things that are called sneaker waves. And that can tend to pull people out when they're not expecting it. Okay, so then, it might be a little bit short, but it'll be okay there. All right, so there is that. And I'm just gonna fold that back over again and give it another burnish. All right, here we go. 
Okay, now I can put adhesive in that section there. And actually, I'm going to use glue because I just want it to hold, you know, hold good. I don't want it coming apart. And so I think glue is the best choice for that. So this is a super simple card to make. Um, and it's just a little bit of a fun fold, something a little different. So I have a piece of white for the inside. And then as always, I cut an extra little strip of the same patterned paper. And I'm going to put that down at the bottom. And I'm not going to put a sentiment on the inside yet because I want this card to just be available for whatever occasion I might want it for. But there's some nice sentiments that come with the set. Let me clip this off and then I will tell you what they are. <clears throat> So we have, you are a pearl, rare and precious, and I really like this sentiment for the card I'm making today. But again, it depends on what I end up using the card for. Heartfelt sympathy, and I really like that font, and then you'll see that font in each one of these. And then thank you for everything. So, nice sentiments. And then you're just going to center this, or I'm going to try to anyway, into this square area. And I'll let you know here what size my piece of white is. Four inches square. Okay. So for the front, I've got a piece of um, crumb cake. I just think that's a good kind of sand color. And then I have this piece of the patterned paper. And I can go ahead and attach that. This is almost, you know, kind of like sunset colors here. And then this can go right there. Sunset at the beach. Oh, I'm hearing a helicopter out there, so there's just lots of activity going on. All right. So there is that, and now I'm going to set that aside because it's time to stamp. All right, so I don't need that just yet. I'll be stamping and stuff on that, that, die cutting there, and stamping there. Okay, so I need to do some inking. I'm going to bring in my blending brushes. Okay. 
So I've got the little um, stamp that looks like sand on my block here, and I'm just grabbing crumb cake. So I'm going to do some random kind of first generation, second generation, even third generation stamping in here to create sand. Filling that in. I think that's good right there. Oh, I don't want to put that away yet because I'm going to ink my brush up here and just come in and fill in some color. And I'm not pushing very hard with my brush because I just want to do it lightly. I think I'll come up just a little bit higher. And I'm good with that there. <clears throat> and then I'm pulling out um, Daffodil Delight because that is the yellow color that's in my patterned paper. And let me turn this because I don't want to pick up that crumb cake into the yellow. And I think I am good right there with that. Okay, so now then I can go ahead and attach that to my little square of crumb cake and let me measure my squares here for you. The white one I have at two and one, two, three eighths inch square and my crumb cake is two and three quarters inch square. Squeaky, squeaky. <clears throat> Gosh, I was doing so good getting over this darn cold I've had. And then last night, somebody was, I'm sure there's a burn ban going on here, but somebody was burning garbage or something right before we went to bed. I couldn't believe it because I don't know that that's ever happened around our neighborhood. It was horrible, and I woke up in the night coughing, coughing, coughing. I didn't even think about it, or we would have um, shut our door, so I wouldn't have been breathing that. And, but we did have a window open in the night, so darn it. Okay, so now I've got this cute, um, well, it looks like a clam, Pearls come from oysters, but you know, whatever, that doesn't look much like an oyster, it might be. I used to do pearl parties before, and people would buy, pick out their oyster, and um, I would open them, you know, and we'd discover what pearls were, what pearl was inside. That was so much fun. That was a long, long time ago. Okay, so I am using Smoky Slate, and just to let you know, this stamp set is a distinctive stamp set, and what that means is that you can see all the shading that's automatically built into the stamps, which is kind of nice. Okay, so we're going to do something fun with when it comes to the pearl. All right. Just letting that ink kind of soak in there for a second. There we go. So you can see all that nice shading that is there. 
oopsie, again, I don't want to put that away because I've got my brush here for the gray. And I'm just going to lightly come in because I don't want my shell to be that stark white. So I am slowly building up the color because I just, I just want a little bit of the gray. Well, come on, let's add it a little better than that. There we go, I just needed to push a little bit harder. All right, I think that is good. <coughs> All right, so I need the dies. I did take and put all my dies onto a magnetic sheet here. I get my sheets on Amazon. And then I do have to trim them down a bit to have them fit back in the case, but it's just so much easier to um, do that rather than try to put them back on the sticky. Okay, so let me get a piece of post-it tape here to hold this in place. There's that. And Here's the little pearl, and like I said, I'm going to be doing something fun with that, but I will go ahead and stamp it and find the right stamp pad here. I'm stamping it with the petal pink because I am making a pink pearl. Did you know pearls come in colors? They do. I opened some really pretty ones. It's usually just a hint of whatever color. But one of the ones that I opened that I kept for myself was kind of a green color. Gorgeous, and it was a big pearl. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. And I've got a die even to cut that out. So there is that and I've got this piece of what color did I tell you that is it is soft sea foam <clears throat> and I am going to put the sea grass on there to cut out Okay, I'll run these through my machine. I'll be right back. seagrass came right out of the dies and were stuck to the plate there. So cute. Okie dokie. I 
think I've got everything die cut that I need to have be die cut there. <clears throat> And then I just have a little bit more of stamping to do. And I just have a little strip of the petal pink here and I need to get this stamp out. So let me clean this other one off. Okay, and I am going to stamp this in crumb cake as well. Let's see here, I think I'll just kind of go like this. going to be just a little accent piece there. Okay, now we can put everything together. Get out some dimensionals. I think I'm using edge pieces. <laughs> which is fine. I like to use them all up. Okay. So, I think what I want to do is put this one on first. But first we're going to put this on here. And I'm going to put dimensionals at the top of the seashell. And a little bit of glue down at the bottom so it can be nestled into the sand. Oops, before I do that, I need to put my big piece of seagrass down. I'm just putting glue kind of down at the bottom of it. <clears throat> I'm going to stick it right over in here. And then... This is going to go like that. And I'm going to get a wipe so I can get that glue off my fingers. <laughs> Okay, and then my little piece here, I'm going to put glue down at the bottom of it and just on that little piece there. And I'm just going to put that right there. 
Okay, now then, this is all going to get popped up. Yay, emptied that one. And I'm going to move this up just a little bit. I forgot because I'm going to be tucking this piece up under there just a little bit. So let me get this centered. And then I want glue on this piece. And I'm going to be tucking that right up under, and I'm taking it over to the edge of the crumb cake piece. Like that. So you want to use glue because you want to be able to squirrel it around and get it where you want it. Of course, I could have put it on before I put this on, but I think it's easier to get this piece centered. Okay, so there is that. I'm going to do the pearl last, and in the meantime, I am going to make a bow with that same ribbon. So I'm going to make a double bow here. Come on, there we go. Ooh, I might have, might have cut my tail a little bit short. Shorter than I planned on. I am whacking these fingernails off, you guys. They are too long. Now to get it off my fingers. So cute. Okay, that tail's kind of okay, but it just still needs a little bit of trim because I managed to fray it a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> and I need two dots. like to use a couple of them just because and we'll stick it right there hopefully in the middle pretty I think I'm gonna tuck one up under there so that that's not moving around so much. There we go, that's better. Cute. And then I am going to use glue dots for the pearl. I didn't want it as high as a dimensional. I just wanted it sticking up just a touch. And 
it's going there. Now the fun part. Get my stuff out of the way here. <clears throat> Okay, so I found these Nouveau Drops, Dream Drops. It's such a gorgeous color, and it's iridescent. I love that, and it's called Love Potion. Now, I have Dream Drops in a really pretty white, too, but I wanted my pearl to be pink. Pearls, you know... You can make, when you're stamping, you can make your things any color you want, right? I wanted a pink pearl, so this pearl's going to be pink. And I just thought this, with being pearly and iridescent, would make a gorgeous pearl. And the reason I wanted... <clears throat> I wanted it to stick up a little bit is because I wanted to be able to take this stuff clear to the edge and maintain the circle so it didn't get wonky when I put the stuff on here and end up with a pearl that wasn't round. Okay, pretty, and then I kind of just like to slap it down a little bit to get that stuff to kind of smooth out. And then <clears throat> I usually like to let this stuff dry overnight. I've got some bling. my paper under here. So I've got the iridescent rhinestones. And they're just the same colors that are in this paper. Pinks and yellows. They're so pretty. Some of them have more yellow as you can, maybe you can see it, I don't know. And some have more pink. So you just kind of pick and choose what you want. I'm grabbing this one. It's got a little more of the yellow in it. And you can see that there, hopefully. And then I'm grabbing the next size. And I grabbed one that had more of the pink. And then I'm just gonna pick one for up here. So pretty. I hope you like the um, pastel and maybe not normal colors that I used, but I think it ended up being really pretty. And I'll bring in the other one that I made. The pearl's dry now. So there it is. Same, same. Yeah, I think that turned out to be a pretty card. I like it. And I hope you like it. Okay, let me set this somewhere so that it will dry without getting something stuck into it. And then I'm going to show you the goodies that, the new goodies I got. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. And <clears throat> there's not a lot, but I'll show you what I got. And then we'll have our little story time. show you this pile first. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So, again, since I'm from the coast and we have orcas come into our bay, I chose this set called Whale Watching. So this is a new set in the mini catalog that's coming out. Um, it will be available for you to um, order from in September, so next month. 
this is a red rubber cling mount set and I think this would be really beautiful with the big wave I don't have that so that's going to be on my wish list I think the big wave set from the annual catalog and there's a coordinating die that goes with that set and I saw somebody do something really beautiful with it um, yesterday so I love how this one's coming up out of the water but yeah that's a fun set it's called whale watching okay and then this is halloween this is a suite <clears throat> of halloween called um well this the stamps and dies are called bag of bones and i like to make halloween cards my box was really beat up so my paper's a little bent but it'll be fine so these are super fun. These are glow-in-the-dark bats and ghosts. And I wasn't sure how they were going to be. I kind of had in my head that they were going to be more like a sequin, but they're actually like a hard um, plastic, like a embellishment. And they're really iridescent. I mean, so when you turn it sideways, you can see all different colors in the little bats and ghosts. So I think they're so cute, glow in the dark. You get how many pieces? 50, 50 pieces. And then this is glow in the dark paper. I haven't tried it out yet. Six by six specialty paper and you get um, eight sheets of that, I guess. It looks like there's more in the package, but I guess it's eight sheets. So that'll be kind of fun to play with. It's got kind of a, um, I can feel it, it's got kind of a textured feel to the paper and it almost has a pearl, pearly look to it as well. And then here are the stamps and dies and I think they are so cute. There's, little, there's a hat and a rose to put on the little um, skeletons and the bats are just cute. Bonjour. And um, look at the dog and the cat. This cracks me up. And then there's arms and, you know, you can make arms and legs on this one how you want to. Eat, shriek, and be scary. No bones about it. You're a sweet friend. I think that is so cute. Boo to you. Bonjour. Happy Halloween. And this is... Um, a photopolymer stamp set but yeah too funny here's a mustache I don't know what that oh that's a scarf a scarf and a beret <laughs> that would be really funny with the bonjour there's a bow tie a little heart so cute let's look at the dies Our youngest um, grandchild turned 12, so I don't have any little, little kids, but I don't care. I will make cute cards and send out to family and friends. I, you know, it, that doesn't bother me at all. Okay, so, oh, look at how fun these are. I love the fence. And there you've got, you know, like in a cemetery and a headstone there, and there's more hats, cowboy hat, what do you call that, a fez, I don't know, cowboy boots and a guitar. Oh, a walking stick and another bow tie, and this one cuts out the bow tie that's in the stamp set. There's grass, moon and stars, more bunch of bones that you can do stuff with, and bats, and then all of these cut out all the, the pieces the stamps and look at those funny shoes. Those are great with the walking stick and the bow tie, a top hat. These are fabulous. So you could make so many cute things with this. I like to put the dies where I can see them, not back into the sleeve because <clears throat> when they give you all these extra sets like that fence and the grass and the hats and boots for that matter, you can use those with um, lots of other 
stamp sets that you might have in your stash. That fence doesn't have to be just for Halloween. You could do lots of fall things with that. I mean, it's just a great fence to have for anything, really. Okay, so there is that. And then let me get something to open this paper with and we'll take a peek at it. I actually prefer six by six paper because I don't scrapbook, so I prefer six by six paper. Um, I always have a hard time opening this plastic. I think this little craft knife is not the sharpest tool in the caddy. <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know. I just like six by six papers better. But this is 12 by 12, so it is what it is. So you get um, cut aparts here, you know. Creep it real. That's pretty funny. Trick or treat. This is cute. And then there's that fence. So the scene's already created for you. All you have to do is add your elements to um, design a card there. That makes it quick and easy. Okay, so this is just all words. Boo, eek. I think that's all that says there. And then you get another sheet of that. And there's the fun skeletons, the people and the dog and cat. And that's that kind of houndstooth design. And I guess in Europe, they actually call it dog's tooth. Because <laughs> they were they called it dog's tooth, this gal I watch. And she says, in the U.S., they call it hound's tooth. And there's a bunch of um, headstones. Ooh, that's pretty. A very large, like, gingham plaid. Skeletons and bats and moons. Bones in a chevron design oh there you go so if you're a scrapbooker there's a whole big page for you there already laid out and here is that sort of houndstooth design but it's actually bats can you see their little faces on there and a blue sort of diagonal stripe and orange with bats and moons and stars and that is that okay so that was that little group and then i've got some christmas to show you So the first thing is this Christmas Tidings embossing folder. I love gingerbread men, and there was a gingerbread on here, so had to have it. I like all the little words and elements that's on there. This is a regular embossing folder, not a 3D one. And it's called Christmas Tidings. And then I got these pretty, um, these are actually sequins. So what I like about this is that they're really sparkly, but they're flat, so it's not going to bump up your card if you want to put some bling on it for mailing. So, um, yeah, these are super pretty and glittery. These are called um, adhesive back glitter sequins, and I'm not sure what colors, but you've got white there with, um, you know, all the iridescent colors and then the green and the sort of Bermuda Bay blue or aqua blue. And then I got <clears throat> this set called Sending Cheer. I'm loving that they're calling the dies the same as the stamps now. So what do you see on here? The gingerbread. Love that. So these are really great, I think, for doing up um, tags. And look at this cute two step. So you can do the package one color and then come back over the top with the ribbon in a different color. 
there's holly there there's um the little hearts so you can come in and make the hearts on the gingerbread a different color and there's the base and then there's an envelope there and a stocking for you two from open me no peeking sending cheer xo and ho 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 so this is a polymer stamp set and let's take a look at the dies. Okay, so what's really cool about these is that they have the little um, thing with the hole so you can actually put twine in or whatever to make your hanging tags. So we've got this tag shape here, and then you've got one here that you can put words in if you want. Um, that one cuts out the present. This is the top of the stocking. So you can make it like that if you want, or you can make it floofy and put that up there. Um, this is the floof for the Santa hat, so that's fun. And then we've got leaves there, and the um, that cuts out the little berries. And this cuts out the holly leaves there. I'm not sure. Oh, you could do, um, there's a flower and leaves. You could put that on the hat if you wanted. There's a circle and a heart. Very cool. This will be fun to play with and make up a bunch of Christmas tags. I like how they put the little um, stars on the stocking like that. That's cute. You could glitter those up if you wanted or put a little wink of Stella on them <clears throat> or just come back because there's the, the little thing you can come back in and make them a different color okay and then I got this set this bundle is called very cute Christmas is better together Merry Christmas and warm wishes and this is a two step stamping set there with that you've got a little scarf to put on the bear and a hat the punch cuts out the one bear now what's kind of cool about this bear punch it cuts out this bear here but you could cut out and make any kind of a silhouette bear for like a background of trees in a forest, um, it would you could make a good guy card making, you know, just doing a, a silhouette, silhouette in black of this bear up against trees or whatever. So I think there's a lot of good use for this bear punch other than just cutting this bear out, um, you know, for a Christmas bear. It's called Very, Very Cute Punch. And again, you could make this bear. I mean, you could go ahead and stamp it too and make it any kind of a bear. It wouldn't have to just be a polar bear. But, um, and this tree is nice because you could use that with a lot of other images besides this one. You could um, do the tree in green and come back over and do that in white and emboss, you know, emboss it with white embossing powder on top of a green tree. Um, you know, there's just lots of things you could do with it. This is a photopolymer stamp set. And then here's the papers. Isn't that cute? And the punch will cut out this bear right here. <clears throat> so if you were in a hurry and didn't want to stamp the bear, you could always just punch it right out of the paper. Ooh, it's cutting this one out so much easier. All right, let's take a look at this paper. That is adorable. So 
So you get two pieces of each. And there's a nice, ooh, that would be really cute. It's kind of, to me, like a sweater pattern. And then you've got like a starry sky background there. Snow. Another kind of sweater pattern. Oh, cute. Let's turn this around and look at it. You've got all kinds of animals in here. Deer and like elk. Looks like elk to me. Oh, look at the little otter or seal. There's a fox. Cute. Love that. Oh, very cute. Christmas trees on the back there, or just trees, not necessarily Christmas trees. Snowflakes. Well, that's cute. Bear tracks in the snow and presents. More presents. So you could cut lots of presents out of here and glue onto a little tag and make up a lot of easy little tags doing that. And more kind of just background or sweater looking paper on the back of that. Very fun paper. I'm sure this is called Very Cute. Oh, Very Christmas. Get this back in the plastic here. Okay. That was that. Then in another order that I got in, which um, actually had the Seaside Bay stuff that we use today. I got this bling in that order um, from the annual catalog, and I just wanted to show it to you because it's really pretty. These are called Tinsel Gems. This is the three pack. And then there's one called Tinsel Gems four pack. That one was out of stock um, when I ordered this one. And so it had four different colors in it, more kind of brighter colors, I think, than the ones in this pack. But they're very pretty, and you get two different sizes. All right, so that was that. Story time. I think we read Armies in the Fire. So we are on the Little Land. Yeah, that's where we stopped because it was a long story. So we are still, we're on page 100 now of A Child's Garden of Verses. And this is a longer story, so I'll probably just only read this one today. It's called The Little Land. When at home alone I sit and am very tired of it, I have just to shut my eyes to go sailing through the skies, to go sailing far away to the pleasant land of play, to the fairy land of far, where the little people are, where the clover tops are trees and the rain pools are the seas, and the leaves like little ships sail about on tiny trips, And above the daisy tree, through the grasses, high overhead, the bumblebee hums and passes. In that forest, to and fro, I can wander, I can go, see the spider and the fly, and the ants go marching by, carrying parcels with their feet down the green and grassy street. I can sit in the sorrel sit, where the ladybird alit. I can climb the jointed grass, and on high, see the greater swallows pass in the sky and the round sun rolling by heeding no such things as i through that forest i can pass till as in a looking glass humming fly and daisy tree and my tiny self i see painted very clear and neat on the rain pool at my feet Should a leaflet come to land, drifting near to where I stand, straight I'll board that tiny boat round the rain pool sea to float. Little thoughtful creatures sit on the grassy coasts of it, 
Little things with lovely eyes see me sailing with surprise. Some are clad in armor green, these have sure to battle been. Some are pied with every hue, black and crimson, gold and blue. Some have wings and swift are gone, but they all look kindly on. When my eyes I once again open and see all, all things plain, high bare walls, great bare floor, great big knobs on dra drawer and door, great big people perched on chairs, stitching tucks and mending tears, each a hill that I could climb and talking nonsense all the time, Oh dear me, that I could be, a sailor on the rain pool sea, a climber in the clover tree, and just come back a sleepy head late at night to go to bed. All right. So we will start with one called Night and Day next time. Thanks so much for joining me today and seeing my fun little pastel card with the pink pearl <laughs> and um, seeing my little haul from the upcoming mini catalog. I will be back Saturday with Saturday Morning Makes at some point, so come back and see what I've got to show you then. Hi, Sue. I hope you are having a great week and are able to get some crafting done and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Okay, bye-bye.